Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a very long video. This is going to be my um, yearly roundup of my four winter fragrances or recommendations for you men out there um, for the fall and winter. In Australia, we call it autumn and I always get shit for that, but I just think fall sounds cooler. Like fall, I just think fall sounds cooler than autumn. But anyway, that's what I'm going to call this video my fall winter recommendations for you men out there. I have I think it's 15 fragrances I have, so it's gonna be long. Let's jump straight into the video. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy this video. So let's just start out with my, my number 15. This is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Now, a little bit of a controversial fragrance because a lot of men are scared to wear this one because it is marketed, well, it's actually not really marketed towards women. It's a unisex fragrance, but a lot of people think it's a lot more of a feminine smell. But I must tell you that on me, this falls very masculine on me personally. I feel really sexy when I wear black orchid, which is kind of the main thing when I when I want to feel sexy, I usually pull for like something like black orchid. So if you don't know how this smells, it's very, very unique. It's deep, it's rich, it's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit floral as well, there's a bit of a muskiness. And it is absolutely incredible. It's a very rich smell. To me, it just smells rich. Oh, it is absolutely divine. And like I said, if you're a guy and you've kind of been putting putting off like trying this fragrance, definitely don't. To me, it just smells totally unisex. It smells incredible on a man. And okay, if you guys are into Stranger Things, which I don't really know how many of you guys would be into that, but I love Stranger Things. And the, um, what's his name? Dacre? 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 I always thought it was Darcy, but it's Dark Ray, the really good looking guy. <laughs> he wears Black Orchid. This is like his signature scent, which I think is so sick that it's like his thing, like he loves it. And anyway, that was just like a little bonus. So Black Orchid, definitely an incredible scent and one that I recommend for the fall. For me, that fragrance is like a strictly fall scent because it's so intense and so strong and and very full on. So I recommend that one strictly for the cooler weather. Next up we have Bentley. Um, I also want to say I made a very, um, you know, deliberate uh, attempt to put all different price ranges in this video because I actually adore every single one of these fragrances. That's why they're in my list. I could have made this like a top 30, but that would just be crazy. We have niche fragrances designer. We have really cheap fragrances. So I've got everything in here for you guys. So Bentley for Men Intense, woody, a little bit sweet, a bit boozy. Oh, I just love this fragrance so much. It's also got leather, but more of a subtle leather note in here. This is a fantastic fragrance. I believe it's around the $40 mark. Shelby also approves of this scent. Um, I just bit my lip. I really love this one. It's masculine, woody, like I said, a little bit sweet, boozy, leather, amazing fragrance. Okay, so next up, we actually have one from Zara, which do not sleep on Zara fragrances. Shelby and I are gonna be doing a video on Zara fragrances really soon because they are epic. They are some epic shit. And this one is definitely one of my favorites for a man. It's very sexy. This is Zara Night Pour Homme 3. Now this one to me, oh, oh, I just love this fragrance. It is actually fantastic. The Zara fragrances, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, do not expect miracles when it comes to their longevity and projection. Um, the longevity especially is quite weak. So if that is something that annoys you about a fragrance, then I don't know what to tell you. But Zara, as far as their fragrances go smell-wise, they are fantastic. And to be honest with you guys, I don't care. They're around the 20 price range, which is incredible. And the scents that you're getting are epic. So this one to me is very sweet, but not sweet in a sickly way. I see like a really like sexy guy in like a leather jacket wearing this fragrance. It's a fantastic one. So Zara Night Pour on 3. We actually have another more affordable fragrances. I'm just hitting all the affordable range right now. So this one is from Ferrari and it's Leather Essence. Now, a lot of the car brands actually make fantastic fragrances. For me, I really like the Bentley and the Ferrari ones. I haven't really loved any Mercedes ones yet but this fragrance is fantastic. This is Leather Essence, like I said. And I actually like this one even more than I like the Bentley because it has something kind of sweet and delicious inside of it. I feel like if you like Bulgari's Man in Black, you may like this one. It's, they're not similar, they don't smell the same, but this one is kind of sweet, woody, 
and leather. There is leather in there, but it's a really subtle leather. It's like a really smooth, creamy leather. There's cloves, there's cinnamon, there's tonka bean vanilla. It is fantastic. This is like a, a subtle gourmand leather, but it is just amazing. So leather essence from Ferrari, definitely recommend it. Um, especially for the fall and winter. I feel like leather scents, you can't really wear leather in the summer. Well, I don't. They're just, it's just a little bit much. <laughs> okay, so the next one is from Laurent Mazzone, and this one is called Scandinavian Crime. Now, this one is slept on. Again, this is a very slept on brand and a slept on fragrance, but this is for the niche lovers. This is for people that really are into their fragrances. I wouldn't say that this is a safe blind buy unless you like really spicy, woody, oud, mostly spicy kind of fragrances, but I love this. I'm not telling you guys that for any other reason. It's just, I love this fragrance. It really does smell unique and absolutely amazing. Like I said, it's got oud, cardamom. I think there's cinnamon in here as well. Oh, ginger, sorry. There's definitely ginger in here. So like spicy, spicy, spicy scent but not spice that's gonna like hit you in like the back of your throat when you smell it. It's a good type of spicy, but it's definitely more masculine to me. Like I feel like a woman would like this one, but it's more masculine because there's very minimal sweetness in this fragrance, like barely any. So woody, spicy, aromatic, dark, sexy. <laughs> Very like a mysterious fragrance. Like this is not a fragrance that you would smell every day. This is one, one in a million for sure. So Laurent Mazzone's Scandinavian Crime. Another cheapie we have, Bulgari's Man in Black. Love this fragrance. Um, it gets a lot of, you know, hype on the internet, but it's actually a really fantastic fragrance. My uncle actually wears this fragrance and he smells incredible. Like I love the smell of this and it actually has quite a good projection. I know a lot of people say this is quite a weak scent, but whenever he wears it, I smell it all night and it's very like, it's in the room. It's not one that's like a beast mode fragrance, but it's definitely in the room. So Bulgari Man in Black, if you don't know, it's kind of spicy. It's definitely got a gourmand touch to it for sure. There's a definite sweetness in there. Spicy, a little bit aromatic. Oh very sexy fragrance. I recommend this for like a date night as well. Maybe like a winter date night. You've got a leather jacket on. Mm, yum. <laughs> I love this fragrance and I haven't actually worn it for a while and I don't know why. <laughs> this is Van Cleef and Arpels Bois d'Or. Now this fragrance to me is like tonka bean heaven. Tonka bean heaven. And when I say tonka bean, I mean it's almost pretty much tonka bean. Oh, it is fantastic. It's creamy, 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 buttery tonka bean, a little bit of vanilla. There is like a definite sweetness to this fragrance, but it's not sickly sweet. It's not too sweet, guys. I didn't really pick, there's not really any fragrance in here that's sickly sweet because for me, I prefer like a little sweetness on a guy, like just like that kind of subtle sweetness. And this definitely has it, but this is a pretty one dimensional fragrance as in the note that you get, if I could kind of put it down to something, it's a very buttery, creamy tonka bean scent. I have actually seen people compare this to uh, Fucking Fabulous from Tom Ford, but I, I love this fragrance and I actually like to layer them together, but that's just another thing. But I would say that Tom Ford's Fucking Fabulous is a lot more complex because there's a lot of different kind of phases to that fragrance, whereas this one just kind of stays the same. So we have Lom Ideal from Guerlain. Love this fragrance. Oh my God, this smells so good. It's definitely got this beautiful pronounced almond note in here. Oh, it's amazing. It's a little bit powdery, a little bit nutty, a little bit sweet. Oh, it smells so freaking good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could literally, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites for sure. Long Ideal from Guerlain. It smells fantastic. I feel like this one doesn't get enough recognition. I feel like everyone talks about the um, EDP, but this is just the original Lom Ideo, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. I feel like this one will be quite intense in like the, in the heat and like the hot weather, um, but in the fall and winter, perfect. How could I not mention Carolina Herrera Siege Men Privé? I had to. Love this fragrance. One of my favorite boozy, um, fragrances ever, period, hands down. Tonka Bean. It's sweet, but not too sweet. You definitely get the booziness, you get a little bit of a leather touch, a little bit of a spicy aromaticness, and it is just, 
it is just fantastic and the dry down is even better than the opening like i love the opening i love every single thing about this scent but the dry down is even better which i love so carolina herrera ch man Privé, love 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 and i have talked about this one a lot i already know that but it is a great fragrance and it's very affordable as well so get on this one especially for the fall winter okay so another cheapie I feel like I'm hitting all of the affordable fragrances in this list, so I hope that you guys like it. <laughs> um, this one is Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Intense. Oh my god. Going off just scents, this is one of like, I don't know, like I just love the way that this smells and you cannot go wrong. If you were, okay, let me just say something. If you were ever going to go on a date with me, this will be one of the safest fragrances that you could ever wear because I will always love this fragrance. I will always love Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Intense. No matter what happens, no matter how many fragrances come out or how many years pass, I don't know why, but this scent just drives me crazy. Oh my God, it's fantastic. It's a little bit fruity, cinnamon, clove, spicy, a little bit of a freshness as well. There's definitely like, it's not a heavy sweet scent. It's more of like this fresh, sweet, spicy scent, and I just love it. I love this fragrance, and I will always love it. Um, yeah, <laughs> my sister actually loves wearing this one a lot. She loves it as well, um, but I've always loved this fragrance, no matter how long it's been, it's always been one of the tops for me. Top, top affordable fragrances, at least. Okay, so next up is our little spice market friend over here. <laughs> this is Andy Tower Le Du Desert Marocain. Now this one, I literally cannot say it in any other way. It smells to me dry, woody, spicy, aromatic, a little bit of a freshness. Like there's definitely, it's not like this thick, sweet, heavy scent. It's more of like this spicy, dry, aromatic, herbaceous kind of fragrance and I just think it is phenomenal. I actually prefer this one on a man even though I like to wear it but I have to really be in the mood to wear this one because to me it's, it, it, is, it, is, it is quite a masculine scent to me and I would love, this would drive me crazy on a man. I don't think like the standard um, Dior Sauvage sort of person would maybe like this fragrance. I could be wrong but for me it is a masterpiece. I think it's just a phenomenal fragrance. It's just fantastic. So Andy Tower, Leto Desert Marocaine, definitely check this one out. Next up we have one of my all-time faves. This is actually one of my favorite fragrances to wear personally. This is Anishio's Rehab. I also feel like this can work in the spring and the summer. It actually can work all year round this fragrance because I wore it spring, summer, fall, winter. I wear this all the time and I love it to death. I am almost out of this fragrance. I can just about see through it and I am almost out of it. I love it. It is, oh my God, it is heavenly. It is like the most beautiful, creamy, smooth, subtle, a little bit fresh. There's a definite freshness to this fragrance, a beautiful soft creaminess, like the most beautiful creamy sandalwood note that you could imagine. There's a little bit of a sweetness in there from the vanilla, a little bit of and aromaticness but it is just gorgeous 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 fragrance right here um and that's all i can say <laughs> i'm actually testing out a sample of Aphrodi absolute aphrodisiac by initio and i love it as well initio is a fantastic house they're more of a recent fragrance house but for me i have not been disappointed yet so rehab definitely check it out okay so next up of course we had a I was going to say a Carlisle in this list, a Parfum de Mali in this list. This is Carlisle. You guys know how I feel about this. This is definitely like my personal favorite from the house of Parfum de Mali to wear myself, but I also really love it on a man. You guys obviously know I love Leighton, Leighton exclusive, Herod, Carlisle. They're probably like my tops. Um, and I have seen all of you guys want me to Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> All of you guys want me to review the new, is it Callan? 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 Something like that in the red bottle. The bottle is stunning. Um, I'll get onto that for you guys. But this one is Carlisle. I love it for the fall and winter. I wore it so much this fall and winter. I wore it to death <laughs> in this cooler season in Australia. And I just adore it. A big compliment getter for me personally. It's again a very creamy, smooth, woody, a little bit sweet 
just divine fragrance. I love this and again, this is probably one that I think I'm always gonna love. Parfum de Mali, Carlisle. Two more fragrances left. My number two is Maison Francis Coquichon Grand Soir. Love, love, love. Um, I just adore this fragrance. This would definitely be for me in the running if I could only choose like three fragrances for the fall and winter. This would be like in my top three. Like if I could only have three fragrances to wear, this would be one of them. One of the most beautiful amber fragrances ever. A lot of amber fragrances to me personally can smell really similar. Like they can just all blend in together. Like a sweet blah, blah, blah sort of fragrance. But this is incredible. It is deep, rich. It's full. It's a full amber scent. It's a full amber experience. If you want an amber fragrance that is full, delicious, and gives you everything that you want in an amber scent, this is it right here. It's amber, vanilla, tonka, benzwin. It's just the best of the best when it comes to amber. Super long lasting, fantastic projection. That's all I'm going to say. My number one may be Actually, you know what? It's not really predictable. I haven't talked about this fragrance in so long. But if I could recommend you guys one fragrance for the fall and winter, this is going to be it. Leighton Exclusive from Parfum de Mali. Phenomenal scent. Phenomenal fragrance. To me, this is the epitome of niche. It's high quality. It's long lasting. Fantastic projection crowd pleaser for some weird reason because this is a very unique sort of scent to me oud almond coffee to be honest like i get the smallest bit of coffee but i don't at the same time there's still a freshness to this fragrance that is still the original freshness of Leighton. but i've said it so many times it's just more it's a lot more rich and intense and there's a little bit of a smokiness to this fragrance as well like a subtle kind of overtone of like a smokiness it's creamy beautiful luxurious sexy as hell <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say so latent exclusive is my number one for the full time but i do hope that you guys enjoyed this list i really wanted to have like a variety so we had some affordable stuff we had some niche stuff some designer stuff so i really tried to make this list as diverse as i could so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and my top recommendations for the fall and winter if you don't know this by the accent i live in australia so i am currently just about to come into spring so these were all the fragrances i actually wore a lot of those men's fragrances throughout the fall and winter and um yeah so i've had a lot of experience wearing them <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will link everything down below for you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye